In domestic politics, Pennsylvania has just enacted one of the toughest voter ID laws in the country. It will require voters to provide a photo ID at the polls this November. Republicans say it's about preventing voter fraud. Democrats say the real target is the poor. Elaine Quijano has more. The effort to pass Pennsylvania's voter ID law was led by Republican State Representative Daryl Metcalf. Why did you think that this legislation was necessary? We, we've had a history in Pennsylvania of election code violations, voter fraud, uh, fictitious registrations, uh, so it's, it's a, a needed protection. Pennsylvania joins eight other states that have passed laws that require voters to have photo ID. In Pennsylvania, the issue has been a partisan battle. All the Democrats in the state's assembly voted against it. They argue the law targets poor and elderly voters who may not have the money or transportation to get a photo ID. Vanessa Lowry Brown is a Democratic legislator in Philadelphia. We all know that if you initiate this, that you will silence a group of people who will consistently vote for one particular party. To suppress Democratic voters. Exactly, to suppress the Democratic vote because this population of people are registered Democrat. They've already done the demographics. They know the numbers. And the accusation that this is about suppressing the Democratic vote? I think it's outrageous for the accusation to have any legs at all. It's when you talk to voters across the state, when you look survey after survey, um, voters at the base across party lines want to ensure that their vote is protected. We asked Pennsylvania court officials how many individual voters have been convicted of fraud in the last five years. They found none in a state with more than 8 million registered voters. Poll workers will begin asking but not requiring Pennsylvania voters to have photo ID in next month's Republican primary. But ID will be required in November's presidential election. And Scott, a court challenge is expected well before then. Elaine, thanks very much.